Hello wonderful people. Why are you wonderful? Because you're watching my video. Hi guys, I've got something very special for you today because this is not one of my usual videos. If you may have been watching the uh, previous videos that I've been making, you may have noticed I've taken a little gap in my recording. That is because my microphone, uh, you can have a look at it, it's terrible. This is just a long cable wrapped around it and a uh, MacGyver style uh, clip to put it on me. My previous microphone did not live up to standards and died on me. So I wasn't able to record a video. In fact, I recorded a video with it, and the sound quality was so awful that I decided, right, I'm just going to get myself a brand new microphone and see what we can do with it. So I will uh, be posting a new video with the microphone working this time. Uh, hopefully, you don't miss too much in the series. But here, let's get straight into what we wanted to really be looking at, which is this. This is my new microphone. I arrived today from Amazon. It is the number one best-selling microphone, apparently, in its category. Um, it cost me £11.99, and and it is called the Trust Star ZZ Microphone. I also got the Power Dynamics PDS M16 microphone pot that goes with it. Well, it can be attached to it. Let's put it that way. Now, if you're a regular watcher of my channel, you will know that I make video game commentaries, which is the principal purpose that I'll be using the microphone for. Um, obviously, if you're going to be singing or doing anything professional, I won't be the best person to be watching. But if you're just the average Joe like me who wants to, like, you know, have a little bit of, of Skype conversations and maybe some commentaries, God, I don't know if it's easy to get in this box today. Then this is the review for you. This is going to be more of a. I'm making a different thing with my videos. And also, kind of a review based on, you know, the average Joe, not the professional. So take whatever I say with a grain of salt. This is just for basic use, really. At the price range, that's what you would expect. I wouldn't expect anything too high quality. Like my recording device, I'm actually recording this off an iPhone 5. With a 5 megapixel camera. Now this is the most ridiculous size box ever because what I'm expecting is a very small thing. Oh, the tape is everywhere on my floor. There we go. So here. This is what all the fuss is about. This is the Trust Stars microphone. Uh, by the way, I bought this with my own money. Don't worry, I'm not endorsing them or anything. I'm not receiving any money for this. It seems to have an easy open bit here, which is quite nice. Um, obviously the packaging is what you'd expect. It's just your basic cardboard and plastic. It's nothing super crazy. I've seen some mics come in their own hard case thing, box. So we'll open that in a second. On to the pop. This is again exactly what you'd expect from kind of paying a cup, eight quid I think I paid for this one. This was eight pounds. It's an easy slide out piece of cardboard on the packaging, plasticky as you know, uh, and it's got a very nice big grip here. I hope the lighting is good enough for you because on my screen it's kind of dark. I hope it's not too bad for you guys. Anyway, let's see if we can kind of unpack this stuff and, you know, set it up. And I will give it a whirl. What I will do is I'll make this recording first. I will be opening the boxes of these um, items that I have purchased, and then I will be recording a uh, a little bit with it on my computer because obviously I'm not a singer I'm not gonna start singing to you and the microphone you're listening to now is the microphone on the iPhone 5 which has a 5 megapixel camera I think I've said before oh, that is brilliant that is typical um, and I think it records in 720p I hope it comes out nice quality I hope you don't mind again okay tacky tacky plastic I hope my hands are right. they're a little bit burnt so they're a bit extra shiny all right, this is getting ridiculous. All right, somewhat the way you're meant to open it. Well, you know, this is an impenetrable fortress of plastic designed to keep consumers well away from their purchases. Oh, very red hands. All right, now I've got the back off. Yeah. Gracefully done. Could have perhaps used the scissors that I had used earlier. Let's pull it out like so. So here you come with your little uh, product support guide, 
legal compliance, blah, blah. Not interested. No one is. Except someone, someone goes wrong. Everyone goes looking for the package. So we have a fairly simple user guide that comes with it. Step one, plug it in. Step two, put the mic on the stand. It seems to already come like that. Step three, turn off the mute. That would be very seller. Then go to uh, recording devices, Windows 7, slash Vista, and XP. So I am not 100... Oh, I know it. That says Windows 7, Vista, XP to page 6. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. You've got your older kind of instructions. So for, I guess, Windows 8, which is what I'm hoping this will work for, uh, you just click on the little microphone, recording devices, and set your default. Anyway, so that's all done. If you're a new person to microphones and you're looking to buy something like this, that is very simple. You, let you, you plug it in, turn it on, make sure it's not on mute, and follow the very brief instructions there. Uh, so it comes with the two and a half meters of cable, which uh, is always useful. You never really want to be right next to the thing you're recording onto. I want a bit of space, a bit of freedom. There's some gold-plated plugs, which is apparently best for sound. I have that on my Steel Series headphones. I've got H7s, if you're wondering. Uh, Three-year warranty, high-performance design for clear natural voice reproduction. Okay, anyway, enough with the packaging. Let's have a look at the product. Okay, first uh, initial feel of it. It's actually very lightweight. It doesn't have that premium heavy feel. And Wait, is that... You can, this is plastic, this isn't actually metal. This is chrome to plastic. But as long as it does what it's meant to do on the box, we can, uh, you know, we can deal with that. So let's get rid of this. Oh, and on the floor it goes. So it sets on the stand like that. And uh, there we go, cable tie off. So yeah, I can, well, I'm not going to measure it, but it does seem to measure up to being uh, two and a half meters, which is what they say it is. Gold plated. Doesn't look too gold to me, but I was, I'm just guessing they didn't use too, too much. This isn't royalty on the uh, microphone scale. The stand, pretty sturdy. If you notice a little leg wobble when I push, but it doesn't feel like it's falling apart. Adjustable, nice and stiff. You can have that where you want it. This doesn't sink too deep, but it's uh, not going anywhere, which is good. So if I'm just leaving that there, that is going to be perfect for recording. Okay, so as far as uh, cheap microphones go, I'm assuming it's going to be pretty good. Now, I bought the Pop. I've also got a, a windshield coming. Um, this actually feels a hell of a lot more premium. This is metal. And they've got a nice, huge kind of locking mechanism that will help uh, place it exactly where you want it, securely, and then place the pop over. Now the reason you get a pop is because this film goes in front of the microphone like so, if I hold it up so you guys can see it goes like that, and that stops your breathing pretty much, or affecting the sound quality going <sighs> in the middle of speaking. So actually this feels heavy, and this was the recommended product to go with um, the microphone and feeling how light the microphone is and compared to how heavy this is I have a strong feeling that if I try and put these together we might have a little bit of a balance issue now as I said I also got the windshield and I'll make another video after that the windshield is like um, a little hat uh, that you would put on top of the microphone to protect it directly whereas the pop sits in front of it and kind of stops spit splattering on it uh, keeping this clean and stops the wind. I'm thinking that I'm on my desk at the moment. I might clamp this to my desk because that seems very generous for the desk. Uh, plenty of space. It might be a little bit more solid, but let's not judge. I'm going to put this just on this back leg actually, so because there's a lot of um, metal available on the uh, pop, so I'm sure that we will have plenty to reach around with. Okay, this is solid. I haven't done it too, too tight, but it's not exactly... Ooh. Right, this is where I, my fears are being confirmed. Yes, this is hard and heavy, designed to, you know, 
last the test of time. I guess the pop doesn't really need to do much. You might need to clean it every now and again, but so that's the pop where I want it, and that's where it goes. So as far as Amazon reviews go, this was a three and a half star microphone. I'm assuming I don't I silly me I didn't check again on the pop. I'm assuming it's about four stars around the same mark. Um, but as a bundle, I cannot recommend using this pop with this microphone. However, I would say that this pop along with this microphone, I mean, separately, I don't see any reason why not, you know. This is good pop, and I hope it's a good mic. Um, I'm going to just stick it on my desk quickly. And I really, unfortunately, don't quite have the desired space I need. I'm going to try and on this bit. Nope. So on the pop, um, I don't know. It feels great, but it's a little too heavy for my liking, especially with my crappy setup. <laughs> no, not crappy setup. I'm not saying that. I'm saying my di my low budget um, setup. But yeah, that's what it's meant to do. We will find a way. I will find a way. Don't worry, of getting this to stick up. I might um, have to come up with something ingenious, but on the rec recommended product side of things, I don't think that these actually go well together. I mean, if I had a larger microphone, more perhaps premium market, market heavy one, maybe this would lead to me different. But then again, I didn't. So this is my review. I think the pop is nice quality. It's nice, smooth. It's got double layers. I feel like the build quality just there, because it's a bit darker patch, I don't know if you can see in there, it's not quite attached perfectly, but all in all, for paying eight quid, I'm happy with this. Paying £11.99 for this, it feels a little light, a little bit cheap, but it was cheap. I'm sure you could end up spending a lot more money on uh, one for directly from the shop. So I'm going to thank Amazon for providing such beautiful products, except I cannot thank Amazon for, you know, putting these two together on the recommended item list. But we shall see with the windshield that I'm going to get. I'll make another recording with the windshield and the pop, and I'll like, kind of try and make a comparison between them. Perhaps the windshield will fit perfectly, perhaps it won't. So we will see about that. So I'm going to stop this now. I'm going to record using the default microphone on my laptop. I'm going to just uh, jump into Minecraft, the, the game I'm predominantly recording on at the moment. Lots of exciting stuff to come, though. Um, I'm going to record with the inbuilt, the built-in, sorry, microphone on the laptop, and then I'm going to record with this one, and we're going to hopefully we're going to be able to see a difference. So I'm going to stop recording here. I got to set myself up, and uh, for you guys, it's just me a two-second interval. So thanks, guys, for listening. I have been the Silent Boo. You have been you. Uh, this is something kind of new for me, so if you're looking for more reviews, let me know. Uh, and I'll try and do my best if I've got it, or if I have the money for it, and I think it's worth it. But if you like gaming videos and you like commentaries, then great, come see me on my channel. If not, then stick with the reviews, I guess. <laughs> well, thank you guys again. I always do this. I'm terrible at ending videos. I have been Simon Boo, you have been you, thanks guys for watching, and I shall see you shortly in the next part of this video. Hello wonderful people! Why are you wonderful? Because you're watching my video. Hi guys, this is the quick little test that I'm doing with my inbuilt, or built-in even, microphone on my laptop, and I'm now going to compare that to the Trust Stars microphone that I just showed you earlier in this uh, video. So, let's swap over to it. Hello wonderful people. Why are you wonderful? Because you're watching my video. Hi guys, this is the second test. This is actually running on the Trust Stars microphone and not on my built-in microphone. So this is going to hopefully produce a lovely clear sound. I have not yet heard it record. I did not test this beforehand. I wanted to make a nice, lovely you know, comparison for you without getting any bias. So this has been a lovely long use of the microphone. I'm going to continue using this microphone because uh, I'm not too happy with the built-in one. <laughs> so I've actually managed to get the pop working. Uh, it's on a different part of my desk and it's actually holding itself up quite well upside down. So props to it. It is a good kind of pop minus the little build mistake you saw on the side. Actually I've noticed that the clamp holding the plastic circle onto the wire kind of support, that is not working 
beautifully. It's kind of pulled apart a bit. Um, but apart from that, we're, as long as this is working, I'm happy. So, let's uh, stop this for a second. And I will listen back to it and let you know what I think of the microphone. Thanks, guys. And welcome back to the third part of this video. The uh, kind of conclusion. Um, I'd like to say that the microphone has performed a lot better than my built-in uh, microphone on my laptop, as you probably just heard. There's a lot less of the background noise and obviously the tapping. Um, I think I'm a little poorly set up to test the microphone properly, as the laptop itself has a fan in it, which makes a lot of background noise, which you can probably hear right now. So in terms of recording for me, it might not be the best, but if it was further away, maybe perhaps it might be better. And with the two and a half meters of cable, I'm sure there is no issue there. Setup took me all of five seconds. It literally turned it on, plugged it in, and it worked straight away. I didn't even have to go through the menus like it said. So, kind of usability, great price, great quality. Meh. It, it's kind of it's not the best built. It's not the best sound, but it is pretty good sound and in comparison to what I had before it's great. Uh, the pop, um, I'll use it now without the pop if I move the microphone over to here. Now you can hear my voice uh, directly. Uh, I'm not sure about the sound difference just yet because obviously I haven't done this yet. Uh, but I will get back to you and I'll put you back in front of the pop so you can hear. I'm not sure if that makes a huge difference but if it does that's great. If it doesn't, oh well. And um, yeah. So what would I give the microphone. I think the Amazon rating of three and a half stars is fair. It Obviously it works, it's better than what I've already got, it's not perfect, and I don't think it deserves to be pushed up to four stars because of the build quality. Uh, in terms of the pop, I think once you find a place to attach it, it's great. It's not budging a millimeter, I'm talking straight into it, I'm not seeing any movement whatsoever, which is great. The, the support beam cable thing that is solid the clamp is good build quality is not great but at this price you know we're looking at the lower range stuff so it's what you're gonna get for your money um, so all in all for about 20 pounds I think it's worth it if you want to make some better quality videos than you pre well, currently are and you don't want to spend too much money so with that being said I would recommend this microphone if you don't have much money and it only have a built-in microphone but there I've heard millions of other microphones with a lot truer sound and a lot more noise cancellation well I guess you could put those on with filters but wouldn't you want to just have that built in with a mic anyway you guys are probably bored of staring at the screen and listening to my voice now so this has been my review if you only have 20 pounds and you need a microphone yeah you can use this one uh, if you have more money stay well away from it so that's been my review I hope that you guys have enjoyed it if you want to click the like button that would really help me out I would uh, appreciate it to know if you like the reviews I might do another one in the future and uh, if not then I don't know <laughs> anyway if you enjoyed my voice look, like the look of my Minecraft like a uh, thing in the background at the moment subscribe so you can hear, see more of these videos and if you don't mind a poor guy who keeps on rambling and never knows when to stop, then I'm your man. So, thanks guys for watching. I've been the Silent Boo, you have been you. Let's get this show on the road.